Early today, Polish President Andrzej Duda met former United States President Donald Trump. Our special correspondent, Alexander Wojewski, was in New York City and has more. The atmosphere of this visit was very good. It was friendly, as emphasized both by representatives of President Andrzej Duda's office and Donald Trump's campaign, which is using this visit and talks to change the trend in the American media. You may also be very familiar with the visit from the photos we are publishing on TV Republica. International reactions are also quite warm, especially in Kiev, where the visit has been noted as a hope for a breakthrough in U.S. support for the war and defense effort of Ukrainians. Under Trump, Tower alone, almost 200 people gathered yesterday. The atmosphere was very heated. We had a chance to witness these very events. For more about the significance of Polish President Andrzej Duda's visit and meeting with Donald Trump, editor Holdinska. Security issues and funding of the army were the number one topic of conversation during Polish President Andrzej Duda's visit to the United States in New York, where he met former U.S. President Donald Trump. The war beyond our eastern border and overseas, the impact of this situation, this was also touched upon during these talks. What would be the effects, including politically, perhaps especially for us here in Poland? Today, I'm checking. Today, our duty, as well as that of the entire community, is precisely to support Ukraine, for Ukraine to defend itself against Russian aggression. I said that these months ahead will be crucial for sure and that it is necessary to solicit this support everywhere. Hence the meeting at the Trump Tower in New York's Manhattan and long talks, mainly about the need to increase military funding in NATO countries. Donald Trump and Andrzej Duda discussed the Polish president's proposal that NATO countries increase defence spending to 3% of GDP. The staff of the former US president, who is running for re-election, added that the conversation touched on the war between Russia and Ukraine and the conflict in the Middle East. The officials stressed the friendship between the former president of the United States and the incumbent Polish president. It was a meeting of two friends who recall that time when they worked together for four years holding presidential offices. It was a good time. President Andrzej Duda, whom he knows personally, may meet him privately before he becomes, or if he becomes, president of the United States. And then he will meet with him, probably if Trump is already officially elected. But for now, it is a social meeting. Polish-US relations, both under the former and current United States governments, are crucial to Poland's security in the face of war across the eastern border. Something that is in Poland's deepest interest, and that both major political camps in the United States should have a similarly positive attitude towards Poland, and this seems to be achieved at the moment. Even in a private meeting, there was talk of cooperation and the need to strengthen the North Atlantic Pact against Russia. We are structurally building an armed force based on a missile shield and air defence based on US systems. And it was through years of cooperation between Presidents Trump and Duda that the details were clarified and the Vistula programme was implemented in Poland. The agreement was negotiated. 